Hey guys, it's finally that time of the year again where you get to spend all your money on discount attack products, and you know what I'm talking about. It's Black Friday. Luckily for you, I've got a bunch of awesome deals for you Canadians that you should definitely check out. And for those of you who don't live in Canada, feel free to skip this video unless you want to know how overpriced everything is in Canada. Anyways, since there are a lot of different deals to go through, I'll be breaking them down into tech categories, so if you're interested in a specific category, you can just click down on the timestamps below. Also, you may notice that most of the deals are from Best Buy. Well, that's because Canada doesn't really have any other big tech stores. And as for Amazon, the deals come and go throughout the day, so it wasn't really possible to add them in the video. However, you can follow my Twitter account at Kung Fu Gajitsu, where I will post any interesting deals I find on Amazon under the tweet for this video. Lastly, I will be linking reviews for some of the products I mentioned in this video, so definitely check out the description box if you wanted to know more about the product. Okay, let's get started. Starting off with the big tech items, we got phones and laptops. And beginning with phones, I got two excellent choices that I think most people should get. Starting off with the Android side, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, which is the best bang for the buck you can get right now at only $765, which is $185 off its normal price. This is an incredible deal considering you're getting flagship features for almost half the cost of a normal flagship in Canada. It's also $350 cheaper than the OnePlus 8T, which in the US is priced the same as this phone. Anyways, this phone has basically everything you need including a Snapdragon 865 for that snappy performance, the 120Hz OLED display for those buttery animations, and even a triple camera system that's basically flagship grade. And if you're interested in this phone, Knoopsy makes an excellent video which I will link down below. On the Apple side of things, they just released the beautiful iPhone 12s, but I don't think that's such a good deal when you got the iPhone 11 for only $780 after a $70 promotional gift card from Apple. That's $350 off from the iPhone 12. You can then invest the money into something like AirPods, which are $35 off. And also, don't worry about buying a last generation iPhone because this is still an awesome phone with awesome cameras and snappy performance, in addition to Apple's super long software support. The only things you are missing out on is the new OLED display, the new boxy design, MagSafe, and 5G. But to be honest, 5G and MagSafe don't really matter because you're still getting an amazing phone for the price. And also, don't forget to check your carriers for deals on these two phones because they are really awesome, trust me. Moving on to tablets. Here we have the Samsung Tab S6 Lite for only $350 after an $80 discount. For this price, you get a pretty good display, decent performance, dual firing speakers, and most importantly, an included S Pen. This is great for students who want to make the transition to digital notes, which I definitely support. And also, this isn't as great of an experience as an iPad, but for this price, it is amazing. Speaking of iPads, Apple pulled a pretty sneaky move this year. First of all, they didn't offer a discount on the base iPad, which I know a lot of people are looking to get as it's such an affordable option. But it's already relatively cheap, so I guess that's okay. But more importantly, they didn't offer a discount for the newly released iPad Air, which so many people were looking forward to. They want to persuade you to buy the iPad Pro, so they offered a $140 discount on it and didn't have a promotion for the newly released iPad Air. Talk about sneaky. And finally, laptops. Unfortunately, this isn't really a good time to buy a laptop because the new generation Intel laptops haven't arrived yet and the Ryzen 4000 series laptops are a rare find in Canada. And it just doesn't seem to make sense to buy a 10th gen Intel laptop right now as you're sacrificing so much performance. In addition, there just seems that there aren't really any good deals for laptops, at least in Canada that I could find. However, if you are looking for a gaming laptop, there is the Asus TUF A15 for $1500 for its top spec model, which includes a Ryzen 9 CPU and a 2060. The doorbuster laptop deal for Best Buy is also this $800 HP Pavilion, which by itself isn't really a good laptop but it does include the new i5, 1TB of storage, and 16GB of RAM, so I guess it's an okay option if you're really running low on money. Basically, what I'm saying is that you should definitely hold off on buying any Windows laptop for the foreseeable future until the new generation of laptops come. And if you're a Mac user, well, you're really lucky because the M1 MacBooks look to be amazing. That wrap-ups the big tech product section. 
And if you're still here, thank you so much for watching, but we've got a lot more deals to cover. Alright, time for some gaming related stuff. I don't really know much about consoles, but I do know that many games for the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch are on sale at various retailers in Canada. But let's get straight into peripherals. First, gaming mice. There are some amazing deals from Logitech and Razer this year. Starting off with Razer, you have the Viper and the Viper Mini, which are two excellent lightweight mices, and they are on sale for only $50 and $40. If you're looking for a wireless option, the Basilisk X Hyperspeed is a solid choice for only $60. It can last up to 250 hours, has amazing ergonomics, and can run in both wireless and Bluetooth mode. That is an amazing deal. On the Logitech side of things, the popular G502 Lightspeed and wired versions are on sale for $130 and $50 respectively. I understand that people complain that these mices are too heavy, but some people don't mind that and the ergonomics are unbeatable. Because I'm such a loyal G502 fanboy, I'm probably going to pick up the Lightspeed version this year to replace my first generation G502 from like 5 years ago, so consider subscribing to the channel if you want a review of that I guess. And lastly, the Logitech G604 is another solid option for anyone looking for a wireless mouse with a lot of macro buttons. There are 6 macro buttons on the side, which makes it perfect for MOBA gamers. And the best part of it is, this is only priced at $60, which is $70 off its normal price. And again, links for reviews are down below in the description box. And moving on to headphones, there are two in particular that stood out to me. The Razer Kraken X and the Black Shark V2. These two headsets, discounted to $50 and $120, are an incredible deal for the money. And lastly, monitors. I found two great options, one for gamers and one for productivity workers, and they're all at an affordable price. Starting off with the gaming monitor, I chose the ASUS VG279Q, which is a step-down 1080p model of the amazing VG27AQ. Quickly going over the specs, this is a 27-inch 144Hz FreeSync display with a response time of 1 millisecond. Best of all, this is an IPS panel which means you get a better image with greater viewing angles, and all of this for only $360. And for all of you productivity nerds, I've got you hooked up with a beautiful 34 inch LG ultra wide monitor. It's only 1080p and it has a refresh rate of 75Hz, but it's still an amazing pickup for only $350. It just depends on your priorities, refresh rate and response time or the extra screen real estate from the ultra wide. Okay, two more sections, I promise. Welcome to the audio section. A lot of people are now transitioning to truly wireless earbuds, so I got you covered, and I also have some headphones and Bluetooth speaker deals for you. Starting off with the cheapest one on the list is the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SE. At its current price of $57 after a $12 discount, although I don't know if it's going to get cheaper throughout the day, it's an excellent pickup. You've got dual drivers for that punchy bass and those clear vocals, 30 hours of playback, dual microphones on each headphone, and USB-C and AppTech support, which is pretty fantastic. These are the top picks of audio YouTubers like GameScheme, and I will be picking up a pair to check out myself for my brother's Christmas gift, so stay tuned for a review of that. The next two on the list are great offerings from Anchor, the Soundcore Liberty 2 Airs and the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros. The Liberty 2 Air usually goes on sale for $99, which is a steal if you're looking for something similar to AirPods. The Liberty 2 Pros, however, are something special. At a usually discounted price of $130, the amount of value you're getting for that price is absolutely insane. You get 32 hours of playback with the charging case, wireless charging, and the excellent Soundcore app for changing up the sound profiles, but most importantly, you get amazing sound quality from a pair of truly wireless earbuds. These have a very dynamic sound depending on how you tune them, and they can have amazing deep punchy bass while maintaining very crisp and clear vocals. The sound stage and separation levels of these earbuds are also insane, as there is a lot of width and depth in the sound, kind of like wearing headphones. I may post a long term review of these earbuds in the future, because I've been using these for over a year and I have been enjoying them so much. And for the last earbuds, we have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. This is a solid choice if you want something from a bigger brand. These have pretty great sound quality. They are tiny, compact, and comfortable, and have an amazing 11 hours of playback on a single charge. This is definitely a good pickup for $150. As for headphones, the best money you can buy right now are the Sony WH-1000XM4s 
for only $350, as there is a $150 discount on them, which makes it a pretty great deal. These offer amazing sound quality, class leading ANC, and just so many other cool features that you should definitely look at. You should check out MKBHD's awesome review if you wanted to know more about these pair of headphones. If you can't afford these, the super comfortable Bose Quiet Comfort Mark IIs are also on sale for $270, although you are compromising on some sound quality and ANC performance. One of my favorite picks, however, goes to the Jabra Elite 85H. These definitely flew under the radar of a lot of people, and trust me, these are a great pair of headphones at a relatively affordable price, especially since that is discounted to only $199. With these headphones, you can get 41 hours of playback on a single charge, which is pretty long, you get amazing sound quality, and pretty good ANC performance for this price. Not to mention, these look pretty sleek. At a similar price of $169, you can also pick up the Sony WH-XB900Ns, which is the step-down, affordable option of the WH-1000XM4s. However, if these are still out of your price range, I definitely think you should check options from Talatronics and Anchor on Amazon, as they are pretty frequently discounted and they sound pretty good for the price as well. I'm not going to go into details about these headphones, but I will leave some video links down below in the description. And lastly, for Bluetooth speakers, the Ultimate Ear Wonder Boom 2 and the JBL Flip 5s are an amazing deal for only $80 and $110 respectively. They both have great feature sets and exceptional sound quality, so it really depends on your budget and the size you want for your speakers. And for the final section, other tech gadgets and smart home products. The first deal is the Samsung T7 SSD, which you've heard so many YouTubers rave about. The 500GB variant is on sale for $105 only at Amazon and Best Buy, so that is an amazing deal if you're looking for an SSD to work off of or to back up some of your files. Next up, I got three pretty good smartwatch deals if you're interested in one. First, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 with its haptic touch rotating bezel is a great pickup for only $270. The Huawei Watch GT2 for $188 is also a pretty solid buy if you don't mind the lack of apps and just want an elegant fitness watch that has insane battery life. And for those of you looking for Apple Watches, Staples is discounting the Apple Watch Series 5 by $130 for a final price of $399. This is definitely a much better buy than the Apple Watch Series 6 as those don't bring much of an improvement to the table. Now, for smart home products, there are a bunch of deals you can find on Google and Amazon Alexa products. The first of which is the Google Nest Mini, previously known as the Google Home Mini. And these can be found for $35 at various retailers in Canada, but oddly enough, not at Best Buy. This is the most affordable way to enter the smart home ecosystem. The Lenovo Smart Clock and the Google Nest Hub are also excellent options at $50 and $70 if you wanted a more visual assistant experience. And lastly, the Amazon Echo Dot and Echo Show 8 are bundled with a smart light bulb for only $40 and $90. That is a pretty good price if you ask me. And that wraps up the deals. This was a really long list, but it definitely had some good deals for you to pick up. And if you stayed this far, I want to give a massive thank you because this was a really, really long video. If you appreciate the amount of effort I put into this video finding all these awesome Black Friday deals for you, consider subscribing and smashing that like button. Also subscribe if you want to see more tech reviews of some of the products I mentioned in this video. And lastly, don't forget to follow my Twitter account at KungFuGadjitsu for any deals that I will post under the tweet to this video. Anyways, thanks for watching, happy shopping, and I hope you have a great day. See you guys later!